Hello everyone, this is Ritesh, first in the world to be Tableau Ambassador and Power BI Super User. Do check my website dancingwithdata.com where I talk about Tableau and Power BI if my videos are making sense to you. Do subscribe to my channel and share and like because sharing is caring. Okay, so what I have for you today. So today I have one question that was that was asked by one of the students and this is something which even you can encounter this, this sort of problem. Now the problem is that we have a couple of parameters or, or a single parameter you can say and date parameter and what we want is to uh, get the visual relative to this parameter so we do have condition over there as you can see right it says date difference between the order date and end date should be less than six months or date difference should be greater than minus one so let me first show you the data source that we are in so Okay, sorry, not not this one, the other one, sheet one. So that's the data source for us where you have Jan, Feb, March, April. No, so we don't have May and June. Remember that. No May and June. So basically, whatever dates that you are going to choose there, it should go six months back, uh, right? So that, that's what the motive is over here. So that's fine. But the problem is that, as you can see, we don't have uh, the dates for the month of May and June, but then I have July over there. So I, I don't see those months. I, I want to see that even if it come to zero, we, we, are, we are fine with that. But say if, if I go and say uh, I go to the month of April or say May 1st, right? So now you can see Jan, Feb, March, and it, it won't show the months in between. But fortunately with Tableau, you have show missing values but if you see in this case it is not nothing is happening right uh, especially if you are picking the dates from the missing months nothing will happen so at least if i go to first of april uh, then it is okay or if i go to the june may june july first of july then again it will show that point and it will now show the missing values as well in between right uh, but the problem is that if I pick any dates from May and June or say June, it will not show May, the month of May. So for example, if I go back to June, right, so it has gone. The month of May and June, both have gone. And that is perhaps because uh, if we open the condition, you don't have those dates itself in the order date. So there is nothing to check the date difference over there with the end date, which is a parameter. So somehow we need to bring those dates to the data source, right? So for that, I have one temp solution. I have this order date and maybe, maybe I'm not sure if this is something new for you, which I'm going to do now. I'm just copying it and I'm ensuring that I have the month of May and June as well, which was missing, right? So I just copy it. I go to Tableau and I go to the data source and I just do control V. Here you go. Did you know about this one? <laughs> I'm not sure. Now everything is set for you. Uh, if I see that, so there is a relationship being set between the two, right? Uh, so this sheet one, you see order date and everything is going smoothly because we have order date from this sheet and order date from this sheet. That is the sheet 11, right? Uh, where you have the missing dates as well. Now, if I go back to my query over there and instead of making use of the now I can see that, can you see that you have got the new order date from the sheet one one. So now let us try to make use of this very particular field in the condition. Uh, so I'll just go and I pick this one and I can replace this one and I pick this one, I, I just replace this one, right? Okay, now let me just apply it and I say, okay. One more thing that you will have to do that you need to re replace this with that one with the new order date as well right so this has to be a uh, change as well over there i need to turn this to a uh, month i need to change that to discrete and here you go i will remove this one and here you go now it shows you the two nulls as well right i click on these two nulls and I say that show data at default position. Okay. 
Here you go. Here is the magic and if I go back to the month of May, again not a problem. It will go down to month of May. Uh, June it is also working now. And also if I go to the month of July, again it will go up. Right. This is what we were looking for. So I hope that this little workaround will help you in your project because again this is one of the common issues that you may encounter with Tableau. So this is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Do subscribe to my channel if you are, this video is useful then do share this as well and like it. So guys keep on dancing with data because data is more than everything. Bye bye see you sayonara. Then we will meet.